Good morning, Africa, and thank you for joining us on African Free Press Television. My name is Aritz Ifa, here with the news updates. A cleric, the Bishop of Oshun North East Delsey, has charged President Muhammad Buhari to explore every means possible to rescue the Chibok girls. He also advised government to stop sponsoring pilgrimage, saying that this is a wastage on public funds. As President Obama prepares to visit Kenya this month, citizens are already advising him to keep his gay rights to himself and Americans. In the trending Kenyan's message to Obama, Kenyans are advising Obama on what to say and what not to say during his visit to the country. The federal government has approved fresh 414 billion naira for sharing. This is expected to assist states pay outstanding salaries to workers. Meanwhile, the Senate President, Bukola Saraki, has stated that the inability of states to pay salaries borders on corruption. Residents of Borno State have asked the federal government to apply caution in her rush to negotiate with Boko Haram as a means of ending their attacks within the northeast region. Sheikh Musa Usman, an Islamic scholar based in Medugri, has advised the government to equip the military and allow the military to do her work. Ex-international football star Edmison has lashed out at a model for his seeming eagerness to take over Stephen Kesh's job as, as Super Eagles coach. Edmison said Kesh's sack is caused by betrayal concepts and cabals who wanted him out of the system. Former Senate President Ken Namani yesterday told the All Progressive Congress, APC, that its party's supremacy cannot be enforced on the floor of the Nigerian Senate. Speaking at the presentation of a book, Namani said crisis broke in the National Assembly is based on the fact that the APC lacks an understanding of party supremacy. Deputy Senate President Ike Kweremado has restated that no amount of intimidation or harassment from anyone or any quarter would stop him from carrying out his constitutional responsibility. On Saturday, the IG of police, Solomon Arase, had reportedly summoned the Deputy Senate President over alleged forgery-based petition credited to Senator Suleiman Honkuyi. That's the news updates across Africa this morning on African Free Press Television. My name is Aritz Efana. Good morning, Africa.